Welcome to Subramani. Uh, there are enough websites who will talk about uh, return on capital employed. I am also going to talk about return of capital employed, but in a slightly different way. I am going to tell you why ROCE or return on capital employed is perhaps the most important ratio. Because this ratio taken by itself, it just means uh, profit to the capital employed, right? Uh, don't look at it this way. Look at this equation as a sum of three, four equations. Sum of it is three equations, which when multiplied by A into B into C, uh, you get R ROCE, right? Because of some cancellations, we look at it only as profit at, uh, on the capital employed. Why is it so important? Because ROCE, you can compare across industries, you can compare across size. I mean, you can compare uh, Hindustan Unilever to Tata Steel to Steel Authority of India Limited to Engineers India Limited. There is nothing which stops you from comparing. Of course, the numbers will change from industry to industry. Based on this, you can choose not to invest in that industry. For example, uh, Chandra, Mr. Chandra of uh, Tata Sons can do a ROC for all his companies and rank them and say, below a particular number, I will not even look at you. Please go, I'm going to sell you off, right? Because if you're going to get a return on capital, which is less than 10%, it hardly makes sense to be in that business and if it is less than 10% or it is 10% for a very long period of time, 10 years or 15 years, maybe it's just time to quit the industry, right? Why would you Why would you be in infrastructure industry in India when you can't uh, get people to pay, when you can't get the government to pay you on time, when you can't get tax breaks, why would you be in it at all? Just get out till the government improves its rules. No, sorry, I'm digressing, but when you're looking at a company, it is simply the single most important number that you are looking at. Why is it? Because let us look at three separate ratios. One is profit margin on sales. What is that? That is profit divided by sales, right? So that tells you how profitable the company is on the sales front. If I increase sales, will my, will my total profits go up or will it not go up enough, right? So that is what it tells you. <coughs> Asset turnover is... Uh, what is asset turnover? Asset turnover is sales divided by assets. So remember, first was uh, profit divided by sales. Second is sales divided by asset. And leverage is uh, uh, the total uh, amount that you have, the stuff that you have uh, versus the stuff that you owe. What is leverage is the number of times that you have borrowed, right? So that would be assets divided by equity. When I say assets divided by equity, it means uh, all the assets on top and all the equity includes uh, all the reserves that you have, which has been created out of equity, right? You have, you had money, you had 100 rupees as capital, you did business, you, go, you earned 20 rupees, you paid 10 rupees as dividend, another 10 you kept. So now we are next year's equity is 110. So that is equity. So now you have three ratios, profits divided by sales, sales divided by assets, and assets divided by equity. Now if you multiply these three ratios, you return, you get uh, ROE, right? Return on equity, return on capital employed and return on equity. So now we are talking about return on equity. <coughs> so, I mean, ideally this should have been in an Excel sheet, but largely it tells you that the assets get cancelled, the sales get cancelled and you're talking of profit divided by equity, uh, profit divided by equity and profit divided by capital employed. These tell you how efficiently your capital is being employed and how much return you're getting on equity. You have got to get a huge number of uh, ROE uh, and ROCE uh, or let's, let's ignore ROCE for a minute. It just tells you how efficient you are with the cycle. What ROE tells you is, what are you doing to earn that profit with all your assets and your liabilities? So if you try to leverage more and uh, try to increase your profits, how will this uh, ratio be hit? Well, you will not really know, but the assets on top will be there. Uh, but the equity down may have taken some shrinkage. You may have taken some uh, losses. Uh, so be careful about while calculating ROE, your, your leverage will also hurt you because when you, when you take more leverage, your interest rate, go, your interest payout goes up. 
and that would have reduced your profit so your roe would have come down unless you are getting a return which is greater than the interest that you paid what is roe telling you roe is telling you exactly that can you afford to have more leverage because can you afford to pay more interest if you paying interest at 11% and you are getting a return of 10% it just doesn't justify so your leverage has to be careful i mean you have to be careful with how much you can leverage also because of the interest paid going up right so your profits will come down so your roe will come down you have leverage and you think that you have to be more profitable yes true but because your returns are less than the interest that you are paying your roe will come down so the beauty is it works for every company immaterial of size of company and immaterial of the business a trading company like say a future uh, i mean let's uh, say reliance retail versus reliance geo every company you can compare the roe and as an investor you can decide that with less roe i will not even touch that company i will not touch a, maybe a fertilizer company but i don't mind touching a pesticide company if it's more profitable right so this fine this number is something which you should monitor and you should say if the cost of funds uh, be whatever it is uh, is 6% or 7% for a company there is cost of equity also but largely you look at companies which at least get you 12 13% roe because their cost of funds is 6 or 7% because we are not taken the uh, cost of equity into account while calculating the roe so look at at least 12 13 14% which shows the company has enough margins uh, to be willing to borrow and grow right so if the company is unable to get that kind of uh, return on the uh, capital employed Uh, and on the assets which is the roe uh, why should you be in the business at all so everything will balance out so if you borrow more to increase your leverage like i said your interest rates will go up and there are no shortcut you can increase the assets uh, by lowering your margins but then again it will come down so right there's no shortcut so if you are uh, chandra handling tata sons and you have to rank uh, 29 listed companies and 900 unlisted companies this is a great way to list after that is a good starting point it doesn't mean he has to sell off right uh, but it's a good way to list and say how much time he will devote to each of those companies based on roe uh, rather than based on oh future profit uh, looks good etc similarly you can use roe and say i will not even hold on to these metal stocks or these fertilizer stocks or something because the roe keeps uh, fluctuating and it is always very inefficient so let me not hold on to it right thank you